second game. So it's of course third game. Neither one of them can pick Brits, uh, Mongols, and yeah, I was like about to say Brits and Celts are gonna be the primary options, and Chris seems to be in favor of Brits, which I think is better myself as well. And Whoop, on the other hand, says it's Celts. But the interesting thing is that they are so close to each other. While being Brits, you often want to do that, you know. Just want to go for the Drush FC Expos. But of course, British ranges also work a bit faster. Oh, and we're gonna have some laming straight away. Whoop comes in, he sees Chris. Oh, oh, he sees the boar. Okay, now there's a lot of information already given. Whoop knows where his boars are, so he's not. There's no way he's gonna lead Chris to them. Smartly backs off. Is he gonna scout his own map or left, right, left, right, left, right? Which one is it? It's gonna be left. He's going for the boar. And Chris. Oh, Chris is not protecting his own boar? What? Like, if, if you see that your opponent scouts your boar, you always protect it, but not this time. Chris is not doing it, and Whoop gets the perfect lore again. 34 HP with the hell. Bye bye, boar. Chris doesn't have a restart either, so. I don't know what he's gonna do. He, he knows what way the boar ran to, so he knows where he should go to look for Whoop's boars, but it's gonna be hard. So yeah, let's get back to it. So Celts, you know, you get more wood. That's like, you know, like Celts, that's their bonus. They're good at doing men at arms, for example. You get a bit more wood, so you can throw down your ranges a bit fast. Oh yes, yes, shoot it with the TC, but not quite. Man, that calculation. Six villagers inside a TC. Oh, and he... <laughs> but yeah, if you shoot the boar twice with six villagers after doing the, you know, around the... Five, is five damage, then you can just shoot it like normally, and it's gonna be alright. Because each arrow does five damage, and Boar has uh, 75 hit, hit points. So while you got six inside, that's 30 damage and 30 damage, so it's 16 total, leaves 15, so it's like perfectly calculated. Kid? Villager deals 3 damage, so if you would shoot with 7, vil seven villagers from the TC, the boar would die to the TC and no food for anybody. The party would get cancelled! That would be sad. But yeah, so Celts, you know, like... Oh, oh, blaming, no laming, oh, he's gonna kill it! Yeah, there we go, Chris ain't happy, I'm gonna lame you every way I can. Houses. Yeah, so Chris is doing some sort of wall in here a bit. He, he has this wood here, he can take the gold there. It's it's a pretty nice... Uh, okay, he's not going Grush. Already placed the farms, but this scout from Whoop, what is he doing? Oh no! Yeah. Whoop also has this pretty decent gear, he can take them if he needs to. And, okay. So Whoop is the one going for the Drush, and Chris is the one going for something else. I would assume it's archers, you don't really see Brits doing scouts, or else either. So both of them are ranged units in the, the Feudal Age and in the Castle Age, lacking the bloodlines. Yeah, you're not gonna get out of there, Whoop, it seems. Gonna get surrounded and... Uh, the scout is gonna die. Militias, no militias, let's see, Whoop. Okay, yeah, he's making militias, but it might be... For Minotaur? Oh, nah, it's, it's, it's not for Minotaur. Oh, it is for Minotaurs. Why is he making them already? I do not comprehend. Is he so sure, certain that he's gonna get enough food out of this? 
Like, I would cancel, cancel it. Go Feral Age, then. Your militia, so you lost your scout already. You don't want to go Drush. With no scout, really. And yeah, now he's, like, if he wouldn't... He could play up now. Get the minute arm upgrade. Oh, it's five militia Drush. Five militia Drush with no scout. Okay. Oh, but this militia is gonna go a bit bad way and it's gonna get the wolf after it, so... That's a lot of wasted HP. It has to maybe even back with these militias to kill it, or maybe he's just gonna keep on going. Chris, of course, has to loom. And the thing is, Chris... Oh, oh, he's backing to kill the wolf. Yeah, and now Chris is gonna get the wall up. That's so unlucky. Yeah, and there's gonna be two more wolves on the way. But maybe, maybe, just if, 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 if the gear blocks it just right, come on now, whoop, go, 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 go. Oh, it got blocked, but it wasn't wide enough there. So it was four militias after all. Oh, but that wolf, that wolf is gonna... Oh, yes, it's going after the villager. Good job, wolf. Wolf is gonna hopefully kill two villagers and a scout here. But of course it's like with Celtic militias being so fast, it's possible. Ready. Oh, but now it's a bit, you know, wolf. Just let the wolf get the kill. Don't block it, good. Oh, and then the next bill might go down as well. If, if these militias are fast enough, he can corner it there. But he's blocking the wolf instead. Ready, ready. Is, is there a tree there? I cannot see it. I don't know, but I don't think there's a tree there. Or I can at, at least I can't click on it, so... Okay, maybe there is. So yeah, Whoop has some amazing start going on, I would say. Getting that one kill. Sending a bit of forward villagers, so what's... like, it has to be ranges. Oh, he wants to tower, okay. But he's gonna... Uh, oh, this, this, this is bad for Whoop. Very bad indeed. So he's like he's not going up, so he should really get the man at arm. Uh oh, 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 oh! There we go. Chris is gonna lose another villain, not gonna be walled. But yeah, Chris is gonna want. He's gonna go FC. So the question is gonna be: Can Whoop get the tower up? Without Chris noticing, because towering this wood, for example, like I would say, the towering the wood is gonna be the bigger deal. And it's gonna be easier to achieve. But there is already one archer out for Chris. Second one is coming soon. That's why, like, I really would have liked to see men at arms. The men at arms really bring a bit more, you know, like, punch to that thing, and kill Arch- Oh, but the Archer is gonna see everything, yeah, he saw the bills and now he's GBing. Or maybe he didn't? Like, he saw them, but did he notice it? The Archers are staying away, if the militias are gonna be there to distract, this new lumber camp is gonna get denied as well. That's like the worst thing ever you wanna happen to you. Militias just need to go go in. Yeah, yeah, go in, Militias. Distraction, distraction. Make him micro. Chris is now happy. He can micro. He doesn't lose any HP, but the tower is gonna go up. Oh, he saw a glimpse of that. Oh, now he sees it. But it's gonna be too late. That sucks. Now wall fast, wall fast. Don't let the arches go under the tower. Oh, well, that, that, that kind of was bad. He could have had two tower, two 
Yeah. Yeah. That's bad. Oh, but the archers, where did he build his... Oh, he... So the archers are already coming from Whoop all the way from the other side of the map. That's actually pretty amazing. I didn't think they would be in time here. But they arrived right when they needed to. That tower is not gonna be protecting Chris's gold really, so Whoop can just take it out if he wants to. Yeah, at home with his mining stone, so with the stone he can drop a lot more towers and be as annoying as possible. Getting expo upgrade when you got only two archers on the field, not a good thing. Now losing one more will there. Chris only has 29 villagers left. And he knows this tower is gonna go up, so he has to find another wood. Or is he just gonna relocate to here? He's just gonna relocate there. Yeah, so sniping this one villager is gonna be the thing Chris is gonna go for. But Whoop's resources are looking pretty good. 600 food, 100 gold, it's gonna be... Oh yeah, the will goes down, no more towers. And with the plus 2 range, Chris is having easy time microing against these Feudal Age archers. Oh, maybe not. Don't go for the will, yeah, exactly, kill all the expos. Chris is not looking at all. I don't know. Did Chris give up there, or what's up, but... Yeah, yeah, just get it, get it, get it. Two low HP Expos and both of them going down. That went amazingly well. Microing again. These two skirms are killing more and more Expos. And Whoop just needs that 100 gold to go up. Now he has it. Is he gonna click up? Yep. So it's 7 villagers that Chris is behind. And... Well, he's like, Chris is not ahead in any way. But he's gonna be going to kill the tower again. Chris getting the bow saw. Like the fact is that Brits are just so overpowered in the castle age with their plus one range. So if he can just mass and mass and mass and mass expos and get the ballistics, he can still bring it back the in the army numbers. Whoop is going in. These two wills are probably gonna die, so... But the... Oh, 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 Chris shot at the militia. But whoop knows now. The expos are coming into my base. What do I do? Drop a panic tower with five villagers. Okay. I think he needs another panic tower though as well. Did the two wills go down or did they run... Oh, they got away. But yeah. Oh, the one panic tower was enough. Getting the crossbow upgrade. Getting the bot king arrow. Getting bow saw. Like Chris still doesn't have bot king. So with bot king arrow, these arch, these expos from Whoop are gonna be just as good as the British ones from Chris right now. And Chris is gonna lose all his expos there. And now Whoop is going in. 
with just a tiny bit of micro, don't kill the wills, kill the expos. Oh, Chris is playing way better now there. Oh, there we go. Some nice micro now. Both lost one there. Chris lost one there. Dodging that just... But yeah, the other thing Whoop did is get the Elite Skirm now. You really didn't need it, to be honest, but... In the long run, you're gonna need it. Chris just now getting Wheelbarrow, adding second TC. This manual is gonna be, if it gets a good hit on these Expos, that might be all that is needed. Chris is having so, so much hard times, like he just can't afford anything. Saving all his resources for the Mangon, uh, for the ballistics. Oh, that's a good shot. Don't lose all of them, whoop. Well, almost all of them died there. Oh, the lonely CA. But yeah, Chris lost some more villagers there. It's now 15 villagers difference. Thing with Whoop is like he's not pro like he got the Elite Skirm upgrade. Okay, now he started producing, but like getting the Elite Skirm upgrade and having three idle ranges, that's not a good way to go. Okay, the manual. Oh, Chris couldn't even afford to repair the manual fully. But now, with the ballistics, with the bot king arrow from Chris, it's gonna be hard for Whoop to get a single shot in. Unless, of course, this manual pops out right at the at the perfect time. Oh, that that those were some good pickoffs already there. Yeah, so Whoop is gonna get a castle soon, and I think he, it's gonna be a defensive one, there's no question about it. With Celts, if you want to go for the aggressive forward castle, you can do it, but if the British Expos get into your eco, you are not gonna have any good time. Chris coming towards this TC spot just a tiny bit too late. These two Magnus might be able to get some good shots. He's still... Oh, there. There we go. There we go. Garrison lost one will. Now Magnus coming from both sides. No. But it's kind of awkward. Like, where do I put my castle? This here, it's... More of a TC spot. So the castle is pretty much forced. Oh, that man went down. The castle from Whoop, it's either forced here or somewhere on this hill. And none of them is gonna really help him against these expos right now. Oh, another TC coming up there for Whoop. Oh, oh, Chris, don't lose it. But Whoop is gonna lose this. Yeah, I gotta say, like, Chris is doing some good job, like, winning his manual fights, getting free pickoffs. Oh, okay. I don't like that, but. Like, why would you go and drop this and send your army back home? What if Chris comes out, happens to come out with three of his manuals? Yeah, so this is fully walled. The Expos can't get in. That's nice. With this army going home now, Whoopis might be able to kill it all off. At least something is going for him.
Yeah, there we go. Not any good shots. Oh, 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 but now whoop might... It's not an attack. Yeah, okay. So that went well for whoop. But the Expos are still gonna be hard to kill, except if he gets a nice shot here and he gets it. And he got the forward castle as well now. Like, whoopsie, Ko has been all the time a bit unbalanced, but right now, like, he's so much ahead. There's nothing Whoop really needs to do. In my opinion, he has already gotten the advantage in the eco. He has this castle here, and there is no way Chris is gonna be able to go in first or get it down. The good thing for Chris is he has this stone here and he has three gold piles. Other stone is here being mined by Whoop. But other than that, he's gonna be fine in his own tiny small base. Okay, getting a hand card though. That's a bit weird. I wouldn't be getting hand card, I would be skipping and idling my TCs to go imp. I wear Chris just to get that treb out but instead he decides to go for the economic route Kia. and Wolf is going up it doesn't really matter what Wolf goes for the fact is that okay he's doing the boat raiders like, that's the solid, solid unit choice, which seems to work always. Against the Braid, you sometimes might want the SO first, you know, with the Trebs. But it should be fine. You need the fully up, like, Elite votes at some point anyway. Okay, so Chris clicked up now. He's gonna have enough stone for a castle before he imps, so he's gonna have a castle ready to make trebs. But I gotta say, like, if you look at this amount of dead manuals, and then there's like one dead manual there, like. Hey, come on now, whoop. Yeah, whoop. That's like, it's it's not working. You're not microing them. Might as well stop making and wasting our resources there. So now Chris sees, okay, another castle. What is, what is his response to it? There's no way he's gonna drop his castle here, it has to be here on the hill. Okay, 650, where is it gonna be? Or is it gonna be just GG now as he sees the imp? Mandatum. Castle, castle. Yeah, there is the castle now. That was really the only spot he could choose to make it on. Okay, so he did choose to go for the Onitsure. Like, yeah, I think it's definitely the right choice. Just because he wants to get as many traps out as he can. Battling his castles quite a lot there, though. Chris is doing... Arbs... Upgrading them. Whoop is not adding anything at home. Like no skirmishers, nothing. There it goes down the TC. I, I honestly don't think that two traps is enough. Really needed there. 
support traps. Because if he can take down these uh, archer ranges, that's already gonna be so much production denied. And if he gets a castle somewhere here, he can just prevent Chris from ever running from him his base. Nah, he just. So Whoop is going for the siege ram. That's. Like, the fact is that Brits don't have a counter to Siege Ram. But do you really need the Elite Vodes to go with it, so it's quite an expensive... Yeah, then, well, who can afford it. Getting all the infantry upgrades. And with the Onitur upgraded, you can just do a couple of Onitures. In case your opponent goes to some tight spot, then, then good. Yeah, so Chris still hasn't left his base. I think many other players would have been trying their luck. Try to at least find a bit better wood spot to take. Now it's gonna be a bit problematic if Wook doesn't control his army the right way. Like, don't raid there. Come on now, Wook. Like, mm, this might end well if Chris doesn't micro, but if Chris targets down all the elite boat raiders, I think it's gonna be good. Okay, well, it doesn't matter, actually. The trebs went down to the rams. So even if Chris is gonna be able to kill this army now, he's not gonna be able to take down any of the castles. Yeah, and there we go. Chi Chi. Who won it? Military-wise, Whoop killed more, Whoop had better eco, Whoop had more wills, Whoop was amazing. There we go. That's my analysis for that. It's going to be 2-0 for our Chinese hero, whoop.